in this episode of the Bourbon Guild Review Show, we get a bit nutty. There's a nuttiness, peanut butter cream nuttiness, some of the nuttiness. All this and more when the Bourbon Guild Review, Evan Williams, Bottled in Bond. That's sharp. Movie track. Don't stick your finger on it, you... of the Bourbon Guild Review Show. Dutch. Jules. Dylan. Ben Richards, the Butcher of Bakersfield. All right. In this episode, guys, limited edition, ultra rare, <laughs> hard to find bourbon. Cask strength? <laughs> cask strength. No, none of that. Sherry cask. You probably see this in a lot of liquor stores out there. Um, although this is kind of like the better of the cheapo bourbon. Um, this is Evan Williams Bottled and Bond, white label. Um, you know, the, the black label Evan Williams is kind of ubiquitous. This one you might actually have to look around for a little bit, but still a very inexpensive bourbon. This is from Heaven Hill Distillery. Comes at us bottled in bond, which means it's 100 proof and aged at least four years in a bonded government warehouse. Um, you guys ever had this before? I feel like I did in the form of Heaven Hill and all the other Evan Williams iterations. Yeah. Well, and that's interesting. You know, Heaven Hill, Bottle of Bond, which has kind of disappeared. It was, I mean, older, potentially, because it has a six-year age statement. But same distillery. Both of them are charcoal filtered. This one says it's... Is this one charcoal filtered? Yeah, it says it's charcoal filtered. You know, how different can they really be? I don't know. Maybe we'll do a head-to-head -head in the future. Hmm. And, okay. and try to determine that. I mean, but, it's the same bottle. It's the same, yeah. you know... It's, it's the same a, bottle. It's the same yeah. white. Yeah. <laughs> the um, so we've reviewed the Evan Williams 12 year, which is an international export only, also available at the gift shop, I believe. So um, you can check out that review up top, and we'll see. Maybe this has some similarities to that. Maybe not. Um, so we know it's aged at least four years, 100 proof. That's 50% alcohol. And MSRP on this is right around $15. I believe we paid. Right around that, Ben? Is that fifteen ninety nine. Right? Fifteen ninety nine yeah, from so, a uh, large chain store. So a little bit over MSRP. Well, well. Um, all right, you got some more stats for us. I'm going to crack this open. Sure. Um, talk so much, my phone. Wow. <laughs> <and turn off. laughs> all right. Uh, it's Seven Hill. Uh, age, uh, no age statement, but it has to be at least four years. Hundred proof uh, mash bill, seventy five corn, thirteen rye, twelve malted barley. Um, that's pretty much it. It's, <laughs> it's charcoal filtered, and okay. uh, I feel like it's basically, you know, variation on a theme, right? That's, that's kind of what it is. Okay. All right. So quick. Yeah, the color's not bad for a, a cheaper bourbon, you know? Yeah. yeah. All right, why don't we get our scoring criteria? Yeah, if you guys are new to the Bourbon Guild, we have a 10-point grading system, so we give... Sorry. Two points for aroma, or the nose, three points for complexity, two points for drinkability, three points for uniqueness, and our always fun and controversial bonus point for value. So we tend to define value as its availability and price point. All right, guys. Let's get tasting. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> So Ben, wasn't this one of your uh, picks for our Christmas guide? It was, um, and I hope you all appreciate that when we're tasting it and just see like where I meant with the um, the value and the drinkability. But we'll yeah. get to that, I guess. This is this is a really tough one here. Yeah, this is tough. Yeah, I'm having I'm, having, I'm reconsidering a couple of things. Here. Yeah, me too. <laughs> all right, guys. Okay, <laughs> let's get our total scores here. Um, I give it a five point five. Jules. I gave it a six. Wow. Dylan. I actually, right now, gave it a 6.5. 6. 6.5. Yeah. All right, Ben. I'm sure it's going to be no surprise that I gave it a 7.5. I'm not surprised. <laughs> actually, yeah. That's. I think we're all kind of where I, we're in the range I thought we would be. Yeah. I mean, I couldn't not, I couldn't help but compare this to Heaven Hill. Yes. Fall and Bond. Yeah. And okay. To me, they're miles apart. Yeah. So, so well, that's what I was you know what about. I was comparing it to? The Evan Williams 12 year. Hmm. And what I remember also of that flavor profile. Different. Also different. Okay. But I mean, Let's yeah, get I into it. the same, but, but let's start with aroma because yeah. I actually thought aroma was one of the strongest categories. I really got a nice Ooh. nose on this. So I gave it a 1.5. Yeah. 1.5. Hmm. 
Um, there's a lot there. There's yeah. there's, there's a nuttiness. Um, there's a, a bit of caramel. I mean, that's so, pretty nu- awesome for a, a cheapo bourbon to have that nice of a nose for me. So where I make the comparisons to Evan Williams 12, and I'll get to that also in the in the tasting, the, but the, the aroma was that peanut butter yep. cream nuttiness mm-hmm. and a caramel and a, a, a delicate spearmint. Yeah. Like not overpowering mm-hmm. and 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 there's not a lot of I'm getting burn but I'm not getting sp- yeah. like a lot of spice but the spice I'm getting is almost like a spearmint. So what did you guys mm-hmm. give it? I give it a one. I give it a one. All right, let's hear it. One note yeah. down the middle of the road. Yeah, I wasn't getting. I only got like one note uh, really, mm-hmm. and it was like some of the nuttiness, but that was it. See, I got a distinct and sweetness on it. Yeah. Yeah. I, didn't, I, didn't I, didn't, I could not pull nut. out any. Yeah. Oh, really? So you didn't even get that? No, did you it, get it sweet. It's it's all honey. It's just very oh, yeah. sweet mm-hmm. forward. The first thing, the first thing that hit was felt like a. I mean, it's just it's just like honey and tea. Mm. It's almost like that kind of sweetness, and um, so I, I really I thought it was very pleasant. The problem is that it didn't have the range. Yeah, it, it was it, it, it kind of boring. washed yeah. out everything else. It's just kind of straightforward. It was very rich. I think the hundred proof really brought it forward, but then it didn't have the variety that I was looking for. Yeah, and it's weird because Heaven Hill I think had more. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. And that's well, the thing I was struggling let's, with. Let's move into complexity because this is kind of the segue I'm thinking about is I got actually, you know, two or three distinct flavors on the nose and none of it came through on the palate for me. I gave it a yeah. one. What? Same. Wow. Actually, really? yeah. Yeah. I mean, and it, it, was, I, it was just messy. I couldn't yeah. pick anything out. I got yeah. a lot of spice. Yeah. Didn't get much else. But admittedly, you can even check. Like, I started out with a 1.5 because I thought there was a lot more there, mm. but then when it got towards the finish... Completely gone. Just yeah, I did too. Actually, at one point five. Yeah, started. Yeah. yeah, brought it down. Yeah, so wow. Yeah. I I actually went back and forth between two and one point five. Yeah, because yeah. so yeah. I thought the hundred really yeah. kind of pushed a lot of. I mean, you could taste it. You could taste the f- flavors, and I, th- I thought it was really bold. I just felt like the, 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 the spicy was like the only thing that I felt that was cranky. No, I, I, I think know. it's the sweetness, overwhelming sweetness. I it, ultimately, agree. ultimately, yeah. I I had to give it a one point five because. It was just, I think the sweetness overwhelmed, and it was hard for me to pick out any other type of flavors. Mm-hmm. It was very, very forward. Yeah. And maybe that that actually killed it, the 100 mm-hmm. proof. Actually, this is like the one instance where it did harm in that category. Mm-hmm. I mean, in terms of overall, it, I think it's good, but but it's, it's just, right it's just really, really not being able to delineate the other flavors. That, I think, is where... It, uh, See, it I almost lacked. feel like I'm being cheated, though. I almost feel yeah. like this is almost not, right. It's right. almost there. Yeah, stuff, it's, it's not, like that. Maybe, I feel like it's it's younger than yeah. you know, than it. Well, it's supposed to be claiming. Well, I thought the bottom of the certificate was right, so that you right, like, didn't get cheated. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, that's actually why I thought like the, the okay. extra couple yeah. years of aging potentially with the with the Heaven Hill six year Baldwin Bond mm-hmm. set it apart. Really did it? Yeah. Did something yeah. different? All right, so what do you got on? All right, here we go. One, I agree with you in that I docked the complexity because. I got a couple of flavors and not much more. And yes, maybe there was some overwhelming, I, like from the bottle and bond, the high proof, maybe it was drowning out uh, some of the flavors and there was a sweetness overall. I'll give you that. But everything I enjoyed in that aroma, and I gave it a 1.5 on aroma, remember, um, everything I enjoyed in the aroma, I got in the flavor profile. I don't think it's overly complex, but it was present. I got that peanut butter cream flavor. I got that spice, that spearmint. I got the caramel nuttiness. I'm getting a good finish. And yeah, it's, you know, I, I agree with you that it tastes a little immature because of the high proof, but man, like, I'm liking this. And we'll get to drinkability. Can I just launch into that since I'm already on a roll? Yeah, okay, so I gave it a two because at 100 proof bottle and bottle, this is, this is something I would sip like daily drinker. And sit out. I'm not going to sip, you know, something super expensive, especially if I plan on having multiple glasses, you know, because then you're not enjoying it after a while. But this is something I could sip on this for an evening or like you say, your football game example. All right. Let's get our scores here. So you get two from Ben. I got a 1.5. 1.5. <clears throat> Same. All right. Well. And a 0.5. What? The what? <laughs> I mean, that's boring oh, on not being able to drink not it. Not being able to drink it at all. Wow. I did not enjoy this. There's something that the bitterness overwhelmed on the finish like okay real quick real quick just so that's actually why i didn't give it a perfect is because i'm not sure but that's yeah well then why did you give it a 0.5 if you don't enjoy it it should be a zero there are there are there's something underneath the bitterness 
There's, I can get a little bit of the sweet, but it's just not it's not enjoyable. Wow. I think you, You're a point five. I think that's a first. I, this I think is, that's, that's a low, really good wow. first. No, that's but incredible. I, I would argue what you're what you're telling me is a zero. Well, I don't know. I think if I was no, comparing this to like a, an average whiskey of some other generic, you know, store brand whiskey, that's not be making zero. you sick. You're just not, not enjoying. It. Yeah, you're just not enjoying. I mean, it's yeah. not it's not repulsive, but I would definitely reach for something else. Mm. So. Wow. I mean, I wow. just, now I kind of want you to give it a zero. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just you know, go there. Yeah, that yeah, just just go slap there. in the face. Well, yeah. You know, I added a little bit of water, and I actually okay. I felt like it eased up, and then I took another sip, and it came back. Like, I don't know. I am tempted okay. to like let this sit longer, let it yeah. open up. Well, you know, but that's that, not what but, we do. Right. I mean, we can come I, back to this. Well, I'll tell you right now, I did add water because that's how I roll, and. I'm liking like it's softening up some of the hard edges that I would I would I would no, you know no. dock on complexity and <clears throat> but I gave it a, I'm giving it a two on drinkability because for you know and yeah we'll get to value but like I like this and it's sippable and it's a and you know it's bottle and bond bourbon as as it goes like you know they don't put additives yeah. coloring and all well, that other crap in it. Segue mm-hmm. this into is uniqueness because that's actually the reason I ended up giving it a one point five. I mean there's a lot to like about this. It's Bob and Bob. It's one for five. Yeah. 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 A lot of that is because of what it is. It's yeah. a hundred proof Bob yeah. and Bond bourbon for, for sure. You know, fifteen, sixteen bucks. I mean, it's it's yeah. a powerhouse for that. Yeah. But I don't know. I, I don't it. understand the bitterness part. I I can. I don't. I, 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 I don't get. No, no, no. So, so I can sympathize kind of because tannic, I've yeah. tasted it before, yeah. and most of that is those like super ultra young. Versions, you know, yeah. like the one year, the six month. Yeah, there's just something there, and I don't know, whatever it is, it's hitting my palate so hard. I Could it know. be the uh, the bag of lemons you were sucking on before the show? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> just saying. It could be. Um, I'm sorry. Um, all right, sorry. guys, let's get into the final category. I think we're going to be unanimous on this as well. <laughs> yeah. Bonus for value one. Yay! Yay. Unanimity Yay. again. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can't. And and I I want to just I know you know I said this on the Christmas show, but for the money, like. Yeah. Come on, this That's is solid. you can sip that. Well, some of us on this panel can sip this and enjoy it. Well, maybe I'd fill maybe I'd fill a tumbler with ice and pour some of this on top. And I was gonna be say, fine, I think with ice, you can, yeah. this is this is a great. I'm bringing a bourbon to a party, and even not even a Christmas party. But hey, you can sip I mean, it. You won't get mad when somebody dumps coke in it. Yeah, I kind of get that. It's the it's the I think the bitter rye you get that, that kind of comes right at the end. It, that yeah, it hasn't matured reason, like, enough. It's like you know, like the it's, it's like the resonant sweet. frequency for me. Like this is yeah. that. Yeah, type yeah, of yeah. I get it. I get I it. I can't stand. It's like it's like the for me. It's either the wheat or funk, yeah. or it's the rye suppression slash or rye kind of bitterness yeah. that That's has been aged. That's... So, can I ask a, a just a subjective question? I realize, but would you attribute some of that bitterness flavor? Like, would you compare it to something like of the bitterness of like a a. a like a blackberry, like a on the uh, like a finish on a blackberry, because no, I get I, I get maybe some of that, no. but I don't get like an overwhelming mm. bit, bitterness. In fact, the sweetness is really prominent. From no, this is more of like mm-hmm. an herbal bitterness, almost like the oaky mm-hmm. bitterness. Like, okay, it's not okay. that oaky bitterness, right. bitterness that you get, like the tannic oakiness mm-hmm. that you get in some older yeah. stuff. It's it's similar to that, but it has more of a fruit. You're right, it has a like a, a sorry, more of an herb component. So yeah. I can't answer this question because I'm always objective. <laughs> All right, guys. So, hey, well, uh, let's get our let's get our final tally here. Let's get our final score, Ben. Cut uh, Cut I'm sticking with a seven point five. I'm sorry, I had to think it over for a second. Oh, okay, Don't. that's six point five. Yes, yeah, six point oh. Get all this chicken. Sauce. And I had a five point five for our official yeah, bourbon guild this? score for Evan Williams, Bottle and Bond, a six point. Three seven five. Not bad. That's pretty that's good. That's pretty good. That's pretty for good. For fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars. We've had more expensive bourbon that's worse. We should have <laughs> no, that's that. True. That's what for we damn score? sure. Evan Hill original. Yeah. Evan Hill was a seven. I remember. So Evan Hill. Yeah. Okay. So do we think Evan Williams screwing up? I just don't no, think. No, I don't good. think so. I don't think there's anything it's, screwy it's about this. It's not as refined. As the as the heaven hell seven mm. six years yeah but that's two more years yeah. it's oh, also yeah. and you're you you're, you're, you're invalidating this pick <laughs> I'm not all right Jules take us out <laughs> what you guys you think in the comments below give us a thumbs up if you like this episode subscribe if you love more episodes from Bourbon Guild check us out on Instagram Facebook our website tip your bartenders so they don't feel as invalidated as I just have felt on this panel <laughs> after this show wow. Bourbon Guild out. <laughs>
Uh, you need to do your daily affirmation. <laughs> I'm Ben Richards. I'm worth it. I'm, I'm it. Ben Richards. I'm worth it. Well, the funny thing is, is like now <laughs> you're strong. You're smart. You're gosh beautiful. darn it. Gosh darn it. People, people like me. me. <laughs> I'm a people person. Um,